Getting emotionally involved uh, with a woman is like being uh, charged with a crime. You're already in trouble. Your only hope of getting out is some, uh, on some technicality or having a very good lawyer or some miraculous circumstances to help you get out without too much pain, too much suffering and too much loss. There really is very little to be gained. This is uh, really going down to the basics. By going down to the basics, I mean, it doesn't matter what your financial situation is, who you are, how famous you are, how unknown you are, how average Joe you are. Being emotionally involved with a woman really has a lot of downside with very, very, very little upside. The upside is for a short while, you're gonna feel good. And the feeling good is really having uh, nothing to do with her. It has to do with the way that you feel with her presence in your life. For some reason, this person's presence in your life, maybe because of the way she looks, maybe because of the way she makes you feel, the way she talks about you and everything, her presence in your life makes you feel a certain way and that's why you like it. Then you attach all kinds of positive goodnesses and everything to her, where it have, in fact has nothing to do with how she is or what she has in mind out of, you know, uh, hopes of uh, getting out of the relationship and everything. It's all created uh, in your head. This is a house that you've built the foundation of and the construction and the plumbing and the electrical and the curtains and the furniture and everything else all in your head, having nothing to do with what reality is as far as her point of view. This is why romantic relationships often fail because the ideas that you two have of what you need to get out of it are so different that if openly discussed, it would shock both of you. So getting emotionally involved with a woman is really a losing uh, proposition in the long run, as you will see. This is not about being negative, it's about being realistic and what really is with a capital I and a capital S, as opposed to what you hope to be. Now, I'm not even talking about the, the uh, financial aspect of it. Why do you think so many married people, when you ask them, well, you know, how is it like being married? They just go silent. They put their head down and shake their head and, and they say, well, you have to work at it. You have to tough it out. You have to make compromises. You have to do this, you have to do that. I'm, 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 I'm thinking, well, well why? In exchange for what? What are you getting in return? You know, there are situations where you have a friend in life that happens to be a female and uh, this friend is really lifting you up. But those situations are so rare. These days, women are looking at men as a ladder to step on to get to where they want to go. Really, that's it. And uh, this is why uh, I've discussed this before in my videos. This is why it's so easy for uh, women to move on after a relationship ends because it really wasn't ever you. It was you were just a vehicle that was uh, getting her to where she wanted to go. And when that vehicle gets uh, broken down, she quickly, uh, you know, disembarks and gets on another vehicle. Because it was never about uh, loyalty to one particular man. It was always about loyalty to her own needs and wants. This is not going to change based on where you are, what country, what culture, what religion, what background. The only thing is that um, when you are in the um, uh, non-Western countries, your financial losses are going to be significantly uh, less and your exposure to danger financially is going to be significantly less uh, due to better divorce laws. But the, the, the heartache and, and, and everything else is going to be the same. So getting emotionally involved with a woman is not a smart move. Think long and hard. And if you're a man, most definitely not before you're 35 or something, because you know, men be um, below that age are, they don't know what they're doing. Short and sweet on this early, early morning, only here to help all the best.